Ian Wright. Pleased to meet you. And you. <laughs> uh, not the other Ian Wrights. I'm just a mere Ian Wright. Just a mere Ian Wright. Professor, doctor, both of those things, but Ian Wright for today. What is this? This is a 3D shape model of something called 67P, or Turium of Gerasimenko. It's a comet that the Rosetta spacecraft has been tracking now for, for several months. Indeed, we set off ten and a half years ago to get to this comet. And uh, we're getting closer now, we're about 30 kilometres away, and uh, in a few weeks' time, we're going to try and land on it. <laughs> Sorry, rewind that bit. Yeah, man, we right? I mean, which bit? Because it's it looks like a a kind of mushroom crossed with a nuclear explosion. It doesn't look very landable. Yeah, yeah, it it, it is a bit scary for landing on. Um, and uh, at some point, we will actually uh, you know uh, take a, do a manoeuvre which actually uh, drops part of the spacecraft, a little lander called Philae off the main spacecraft and, and down onto the surface. And the reason is, we want to know what it's made out of, or at least I do, that's my personal interest. And you've been involved from the beginning? Yeah, I, I, the, the, I still have the designs for my uh, instrument. Uh, like, they're not exactly the back of a beer mat, but they're a sheet of A4 paper sketched in Byron, and, and that has the date of 1993 on it. Uh, you know, I've had kind of projects before when where it's, it's going to end a month later, and that seems like a long time. Waiting ten years must be phenomenal. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a strange thing. I, I don't like to give the impression I've been sitting at my desk with my feet up, you know, <laughs> drumming my fingers. We've had plenty of other things to do. Not, not least of all, I think perhaps people don't really understand that, um, in actual fact, when you launch a spacecraft, there's still a lot of things to do with your actual instruments and so on that you haven't yet done because you know you have plenty of time to do them back on the ground and it may be that you actually uh, redefine uh, the, the ways in which you operate the instrument and then of course you tell uh, telemeter that data up to the spacecraft and, and upload some new software etc. The parameters and all of this and just the numbers involved just phenomenal how there must be a thousand things that can go wrong every day. Y yes it, it, it is a risky Venture, uh, space exploration. Expensive? It's expensive, but, you know, uh, it's not that expensive when you think about the number of people it actually employs and, and of course, the spin-offs that come from it. I mean, that's not necessarily why we do it, but there, are, there is a, a payback in, in many different ways. I mean, certainly our instruments that we developed and, and the people that we trained to, to make those instruments are now working in all different kinds of, uh, of areas uh, all walks of life. What do you think it's made of? Well we kind of know what we think it's made out, out of. We, we know it's made out of water, ice and the black surface is because it's covered in organic compounds and uh, so that you know the, the, what we want to know is, is the detail of that and in particular we're interested for instance is the water that makes the ice in any way related to the water on earth and we can do that with some uh, some very specialized uh, measurements that we're going to make and of course if we can make that connection then we can look at the black stuff and say well those are the kind of organic materials that came down to the surface of the primitive earth from which life ultimately developed so it's like we're kind of looking back in time to a point before life existed at the very ingredients from which life evolved. And that's quite a fascinating thing. <sighs> Huge. Oh, I mean, good luck seems too small a thing to say. <laughs> but good luck. Good. The Deep Space Network. Mm. Landing probes on objects moving 15 kilometers a second. This is this is science fact you're talking mm -hmm. sounds like science fiction yeah yeah no Isn't no it, this, this is, is your job it's, it's the day job yeah yeah <laughs>